Hi, in this video tutorial you will learn how to export Gerber and Drill files from KiCad. Furthermore, you will learn low-cost opportunities for prototyping and testing printed circuit boards. KiCad is a free and open source software suite for electronic design automation. It runs on Windows, Mac OS and most importantly on GNU Linux distributions. As an open source enthusiast, I am using Ubuntu. KiCad has a long history. It was initially released 26 years ago and since then it has been constantly improved. I have already created a simple add-on board for Raspberry Pi. It is a traffic light with red, green and yellow LED. The schematics are super simple. In order to make a prototype, I need to export Gerber and Drill files. The Gerber format is an open ASCII vector format for 2D binary images. It is widely used in the industry to describe printed circuit boards. Any CAD software from this type can export Gerber files. Open KiCad and after that open PCB New. Redraw few zones by pressing B on your keyboard. Select File, Plot. Select an output directory. It is highly recommended to be a separate directory dedicated only for the Gerber and Drill files. Make sure that the layers for FQ, BQ, front and bottom mask, seal screen and edge cuts are selected. In this example, I have created a two layer board with seal screen only on the front. Uncheck Plot Sheet Reference on all layers. Check Exclude PCB Edge from the other layers. Check Use Protel File Name Extensions. When you are ready, click Plot. Now the next step is to generate drill files. They are used to drive CNC drilling and routing machines. Check Decimal Format and check Mirror Y Axis. Check Merge PTH and NPTH holes into one file. When you're ready, click button Drill File. Create a zip archive of the exported Gerber and Drill files. This archive will be sent to a factory to make a prototype of the board. In this video, I'm going to show you how to order prototypes from JLC PCB. This factory is based in China and provides very good quality at very affordable prices. Quick shipping with DHL is available. Open the website jlcpcb.com. Click Quote Now and after that upload your Gerber files. Once the upload is done, JLC PCB website will show you an image of the front and the back of your board. Have a quick look to double check that everything looks as expected. In my case, the board is OK. After that, select PCB cover quantity, surface finish and all other available options for manufacturing. When you're ready, proceed and place your order. I have already ordered my boards at JLC PCB. Very quickly, in approximately a week, I received from JLC PCB my prototypes with international shipping via DHL. As you can see, the quality of the boards from JLC PCB is very good. Using my soldering iron, I assemble the components to my printed circuit boards received from JLC PCB. The soldering of this particular board is fun. Although the board is super simple, the hand soldering is interesting as there are both components for surface mount and true hole technology. As I said at the beginning of the video, this is an add-on board for Raspberry Pi. The board looks straightforward. You have to attach it to your Raspberry Pi. It is compatible with any model and version of Raspberry Pi. On the new models of Raspberry Pi, you can attach up to 6 units of Anavi traffic lights. The GNU Linux distribution Raspbian is running on my Raspberry Pi 3. I'm controlling the lights using the GPIO utility provided by the popular open source library Wiring Pi. Thank you for watching. Please use open source, subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for more videos.